one say, hey, nobody have them, baby. I messed up on that one, baby. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to have to find a way to fish that one back in. Sorry, baby. They want to know that he paid for, like, the flights and stuff? He paid for everything. He paid for everything. Y'all went to Miami and you got drunk and alcohol poisoned? Of the trip, yes. Nice, nice oceanside hotel looking out on the beach. And I messed up everything. Top floor, everything. Everything. When I say he's literally, I was shocked and a little scared. So I'm like, uh, I'm not a city girl. I'm not going to do the whole flying out shit. But, and we just kind of knowing each other. But he was like, no, I got you. And I promise you. And little did I learn his little background history. His grandfather's actually one of the one of the high pastors in Chicago. So I'm like, okay, you got a little church in you. I don't think you'll kidnap me and cut me up. So I'll go. <laughs> like, I'll go. And then we went. First day was great. We went out to eat. Um, boat ride. We had plans for the rest of the night. Club, jet skis. We got into it. I got drunk. I ended up in the hospital. He rerouted our flights shorter, and we went back to Chicago. This hey, Q! This hey, Q! This is what you want. Know. Imagine him in the hospital just to deal with And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focus on yourself. That's what it is. What up, YouTube? So we got to do a part two to the video where this chick said that a guy flew her out and she ruined it. Well, we heard her side of the story, so let's hear his side. And for those who haven't seen the first reaction, I'm going to post the link to that video in the description. So with no further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so Lionel, we didn't know your name, but a woman called me up and said she met a guy from Chicago um, and um, he took her to Miami. And she got so drunk, she had to go to the hospital and completely ruined the trip. She was very willing to take responsibility. And she wanted a second chance with the guy. And she said, you were good looking, you were attractive, you were, you did nothing wrong. It was all on her. And you blocked her and didn't give her a second chance. Asia, honey, what's your update, sweetheart? Oh, my gosh. So I met this amazing man, like, through your show. He contacted me. Um, not too long ago, and then um, I blew it. I blew it big time. He took me out to Miami. Um, that was our, our actual first date and meeting. So I was like a little skeptical, background in him. He actually watches your show. So if you're on here, join, please. Let's have a conversation. Let's fix this. I want I want to fix it. I want to fix it. How did so, you blow it? How, how did you blow it? Oh, my God. I don't want to sound like I have a problem or anything, but we got into it in Miami. I decided to drink. And I drunk to the point that I ended up in the hospital. So the whole vacation, blown. Trash. Girl, you got that drunk, you gotta go to the hospital? Yeah. For alcohol poisoning. And from then there, like, I can understand, like, you just killed the trip, you look like a fucking alcoholic, and you just pissed me the fuck off. Excuse me for all my cursing, but I can see how, like, yeah, kinda don't wanna mess with you. So, yeah. Oh my I'm God, we did not know your name, but you reached out to me to make me aware that you are the guy. So since you are the guy, give us your version to the story. Okay, well, the version she said was not true. Number one, let, let's start. So I, she was on your show. So we was talking before. So my trip to Miami was already planned. Okay, so we linked up at her house before and we talked prior to. So Miami wasn't the first time that we linked up or got in contact with each other. So that was a lie. Oh. So apparently man smashed before. So this is a a chick that he smashed. Are you see your chicks be lying, bro? That's crazy. So let's start with the day of the trip. The day of the trip, she didn't answer the phone. So I was calling her because I got an early morning flight at like seven o'clock in the morning. So I was blowing up her phone. She didn't answer. So I want to say around like 5.15, she answered. She said, oh my God, I'm drunk in the bathtub. So when I went upstairs to get her bag, she had like a bunch of face stuff on her face like literally drunk like you could smell alcohol on her and it was like before then i knew she had a problem because you know you can get you can kind of tell 
but I didn't want to accept it. Okay. So as we leave and uh, you got everything, she like, yeah. So now we basically rush into O'Hare airport. So when we get to O'Hare, we miss the flight back because we was late. We get to the gate, they, all the flights is booked from Miami. Get you guys on a standby flight. I'm like, okay, cool. So when we get to the, the gate, they load up the first plane and the lady called me to the to the gate. She said, one of you guys can go now and I get the next person on the next flight, which is 45 minutes later. I'm like, okay, cool. So I tell her, I'm like, why don't you go first and I'll meet you in Miami? I'm not leaving. I'm like, why not? She's like, well, I don't have my phone. Where is your phone? She left her, her phone at home. So I'm like, you need, I'm like, just go. I'm like, just sit at the gate and I'll meet you in Miami. Well, I don't want to leave without a phone. I'm like, this is American. Just go where American is at and I'll meet you there. So she didn't want to go. I'm like, I'm like, all right, whatever. So the lady asked me, she's like, you sure? I'm like, well, if we don't go, what is the chances of us going? She like, well, it's going to be hard because basically all the flights was booked. So at that point, I'm like, you know what? I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't even want to go on a trip. I'm done. So right when I said I'm done, the hotel transaction went through on my phone. And I'm like, fuck. I'm like, man, fuck. I don't think I can get it back. So as we leaving to go get the bags, I'm going down the baggage plane. I asked the guy, I said, hey, this is my flight. I missed my flight. I said, well, can I get my bags? He like, no. He's like, well, your bags are already going to Miami. I'm like, I don't even give a damn because it's material stuff. I'm like, skip it. I'll replace the shit. So she like, nah, I need my stuff. My whole life is in there. I'm like, look, I'll replace it. I don't give a damn. So as we leaving, you know how you going back and get your car. She grabbing me and she was like, no, I'm just going on a trip. I can take an Uber. I'm like, how? You don't have your phone. How are you going to call an Uber? So at this point, I'm like, skip it. I'm done and over with. So as we leaving, she grabbing me. She's like, no, let's just go. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? Skip it. She want her bag. Let me just go get her bag. And I'm turning the, the hell right back around. So I'm on the phone with American, you know, trying to get a flight. They tell me, well, the next flight out is at four o'clock. Remind me, we had set, we had the airport at seven o'clock in the morning. So then we go back to the gate. Now we're waiting on the flight. She goes back to sleep, but you can smell the liquor on her. You know how a drunk, when they sit there, they, they nod out. So now she sleeps. So as we sleep, I said, okay, I wake her up to get something to eat. So I go buy her something to eat, go get her something to drink. Now she go back to sleep. So when she all right, look, man. First of all, this dude got mad patience. You know what I'm saying? And this is that nice guy shit, bro. Whenever a woman peed that you a nice guy, she's going to keep taking advantage of you and she's not going to stop. That's one thing about a woman. If they realize that they could bully a person, they're going to keep bullying them. If they realize that, okay, this guy's a yes man, everything is yes, 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 they will keep coming at you, dog. They will keep taking advantage of you. Y'all got to understand that, man. As a man, you got to know when to put your foot down. This story, dog, you should have been put your foot down on this broad. And this is a chick that you already smashed before you went on the trip. Man, and fellas, man, don't be taking these low-hanging fruits on trips, bro. Come on, fellas. We got to do better than this. This is crazy. She wake up. She like, oh, I'm going to go to the bar. I'm like, what do you mean you're going to go to the bar? So she goes to the bar. When she comes back, she comes back with a bracelet on. The bracelet came from some guy she met at the bar. She didn't get the bracelet from me. The, bar, the bracelet came from a gay guy at a bar. So I'm like, okay. But wait, real quick. I want to make sure I'm following along. This is at the O'Hare Airport? Yeah, this is at O'Hare Airport. So, you, okay. So this is at the, so y'all didn't even make it to Miami yet? No, because we missed the flight because she was drunk in the bathroom. So she was drunk before y'all even got to Miami? Before we even got to Miami. Okay. okay. So 
in the midst of that, I tell her like this. I say, I'm not buying you anything to drink whatsoever. I said, no. I said, you have a drinking problem, period. So next thing you know, we go to Miami, and my mind already got it made up. I'm I done. I got a question. So did y'all get on the same flight to Miami, or did y'all go on separate yeah, flights? Flight. So okay. I said, skip the standby. So we got on the 4 o'clock flight. Okay. Okay. So now we get to Miami. We get the rental car. I'm like, at this point, it's already 9 o'clock. I swear to been in Miami at 11 o'clock in the morning. It's damn near 9 o'clock at night. So we go get the rental, and now we go to the restaurant. We order, and she like, can I get a drink? I said, I'm not buying you nothing to drink. I said, if you want something to drink, you pay for it, period. So she paid for her drink. We go to the room. We go to sleep. The next morning, she's like, what do you want to do? I said, there's nothing to do. I said, I'm already trying to book a flight back to Chicago. You got your bags? Ain't nothing to talk about. So I couldn't get a nonstop flight. I don't like layover. So we couldn't get a nonstop flight. I said, you know what, skip it. Let's go get breakfast. So go get breakfast. I'm on the phone with America. I said, hey, is there any way you can get me the first flight smoking first thing in the morning? So they was like, okay, we can change. I was, we was supposed to leave Monday. So I got the first flight. What day is this? Is it Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Saturday. So I said, give me the first flight Sunday morning. Whatever you got. Nonstop back to Chicago. No extra stops. Go right there. So they said, we got a flight 545 in the morning. Okay. Cool. So she like, well, I want to go to the beach. I said, okay, whatever. So we walk around the beach. And at this time, I'm like, well, I got the boat. Come on, bro. Put your foot down. She's telling you what to do. That's nuts, man. That's the thing. She's controlling this guy. Of course, she don't want to lose a guy like this. That's why she, she like, yo, I don't want to lose him. He's, oh, he's everything. He's a fucking nice guy. Of course, she, she don't want to lose a guy like this. This is crazy. After all she put you through, you still treating this bitch? You still buying the shit? Come on, fellas. We got to do better than this, man. This is crazy. Boat tour. Because I booked the boat tour with a brunch. I said, well, let's go to this right now. So as we drive into the boat, she studied. You know how you try to surprise somebody? She started asking questions. I'm like, just relax and wait. So as we go to the boat, I don't know where I'm going. So I asked the guy, I said, hey, where is this at? I'm using my phone. She's like, where are we going? I don't want to go nowhere like this. I'm like, it's a boat. So she's like, just take me back to the room. Oh, fuck it then. I don't care. So now as we walking back to the car, we get in the car and she's like, can I charge two drinks to, your, to the room? I'm like, no. I said, I told you I'm not buying you nothing to drink. So she's like, well, I'm just going to charge it up. Oh, no, the hell you ain't. So I instantly messaged the hotel, and I sent you the proof. I messaged the hotel like, hey, if anybody charges anything into my room, that's not me. Do not allow it whatsoever. So as we get back to the hotel, she like, let me out. Okay, cool. So I let her out. She goes. I don't know where she go. So I parked the car. Next thing you know, I'm looking for her. I don't see her. So I went to the bar to watch the game. So I'm still looking for her. I don't see her. I want to say roughly like 30 minutes later, I see her walk past me. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me go upstairs and get my swim trunks on. I go upstairs. I promise you, I was only upstairs for 20 minutes. 20 minutes tops. So I go upstairs. My phone is ringing as I'm trying to get ready. It's a Miami number. I'm thinking, fam, Bill Collect. I ain't got to answer y'all. So I called back. I said, did somebody call this number? So they was like, okay, we'll call you back. I look over the balcony. I see her laying down. Like she pumped over like this. I see two guys pick her up. The hotel called me and they say, hey, are you with such and such? I'm like, yeah. They're like, well, it's an emergency. You need to come downstairs. So now I go downstairs. They're wheeling her in the fucking wheelchair. They're wheeling her through the lobby. She's foaming like she's slobbing by the damn mouth, and she's like this inside the wheelchair, like just slobbing, Kendra. I'm talking about slobbing. So now the paramedics come. The paramedics come. They trying to put some shit on her, and they told her that she was unconscious. Basically, she had she like she wasn't breathing and stuff. So they trying to rush her. So they told me. They said, "Well, 
They gave me the hotel. They gave me the um the hospital she was going to. I said, well, let me go upstairs and grab her her purse, all her information in it, and my wallet. So as we go to the the air, the um the hospital, the the lady tell me she was like, well, she's heavily intoxicated. You have to come back later. Give us a call. So we I go back to the room. I call her. I call the hospital. They said, well, she's still heavily intoxicated. So at this point, I text her mother. So I informed her mother because I didn't tell you. So at the at the at the airport, let's go back. At the airport, I told her to call her mother to let her know, you know, I, I have a daughter. So I said, let your mother know, you know, that the flight was was delayed because she didn't have her phone. So she got a daughter. All right, look, enough of this, man. Fellas, what you all could learn from this, whenever a woman peg you as a nice guy, she will keep taking advantage of you. Now, obviously, this chick needs help, all right? Let's be honest. She have a drinking problem. She needs to seek help for that. This guy, he thinks that he could save her for some reason. He thinks that he can change her. She's who she is. Whenever a woman shows you who she is, it's your job to respect that and leave her ass alone. Or else she will put you in some weird, crazy predicaments like this situation right here. And it's crazy. What this guy don't understand is like the whole time she took control over him. She controlled every situation. He didn't want to put his foot down fellas this is what happens when you're a nice guy as a man learn how to say no and stand on that and first of all you shouldn't be taking chicks that you meet on a dating app on trips or on dating shows those are low hanging fruits you could take that and then okay so you in chicago Yo, you could take her to Harold's. Get a, a six wings mild sauce and she's good. Like, what you doing? Take her to the lake. You taking... Oh, it is what it is, man. For us, please leave your thoughts in the comments. It's your boy AQ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out, man. Peace.